guys it's rosin back at you one more again on this one different saturday i hope everybody's having a good day um today is a really good day for me because the last couple of days i've just been mia you know from social media um i've been really going through all this uh awakening phases you know from kundalini to you know my ascension and you know different phases of the hot cold you know dealing with other people's energy that you know surrounds me um, is I've become really sensitive and now I have had to, you know, uh, separate, you know, my feelings from other people's, which was sometimes it was kind of hard to do. Um, and it is no fun, you know, uh, it's just, I had to keep meditating, you know, keep, you know, telling myself my affirmations, uh, and having to use my, uh, visual perception on things that I just, could not understand and I had to put meaning to it and you know seeing a lot of my things that I thought I was probably over with obviously I wasn't because it kept coming back and it, it's just like you you're going to keep dealing with things um and you're always wondering why I keep dealing with them but you have to understand you have to learn from you have to get the lesson for you to be able to pass that stage and I had to figure that out you know I you know I kept on telling myself you know why do I keep going through this why do I keep going through this going through all these you know bad enough it is you're going through phases you know temperature changes eating habits um you know uh sicknesses you know I, I've been having headaches like crazy you know and I have to, it's especially after sometimes when I meditate you know using all my my chakras um which is just I, I don't know how to even explain it. I don't know if it's just normal. Um, if anybody is, you know, if you, you've been through all this stuff, please let me know. <laughs> because, you know, I'm still going through it and it's still like a learning process for me. Um, I, like I said, I try to make videos every other day on um, the things that I go through. Um, it's really dealing with this, you know, I'm trying to, you know, heal from grieving and, um, uh, separation anxiety you know I get it a lot you know um, you know trying to understand it you know I know you have to deal with grieving but it just seems like grief on top of separation anxiety is just it seems like it's ten times worse um, and it's just you go through so many different emotions but it's just a, it's a blessing that I can actually look at it and say you know oh I didn't waste my time with this person because it's just like you learn you, you have a blessing through every person that you meet, you know, um, you learn things to where if it happens again, you know what to look for, you know, um, I had to, you know, I made a video the other, other day saying learn how to let go and move on, you know, and it's just a lot of things that I thought I had let go and moved on, but it, you know, I just still felt guilty about the fact that I was never able to meet my father and I know that I, it was not my fault. You know, um, a lot of things I didn't know because nobody was honest enough to tell me. Um, at least with my mom, she was able to tell me, but it was like many years down the line. So it's just a lot of things, you know, dealing with um, that I'm reading more up on uh, with indigos and especially tw twin flames. Um, you go through a lot of things like a trauma that, um, that you might not have known about. And... Um, that's why I'm starting to go through now this phase of a lot of things that I wasn't aware of that was happening around my surroundings and now actually seeing what happened and you know basically getting a different perspective it feels like the movie Vantage Point um, where I'm seeing everything from different sides and um, some of them I can deal with and some of them it's been kind of hard to deal with the it's a good thing that you're going through it and I just accept it for what it is um and it it feels it feels good and it feels i get a lot of clarity basically but it, it just feels good to know that the more i research and the more different videos that i watch on the categories that i'm you know with the things that i'm going through and i you know i read a lot um it's very interesting you know um just to know that i'm just filling myself up with all this different knowledge of basically of the things that we have seen on an everyday basis basis is like i look at it totally different now and it's just like it feels really good to actually see something different like wow you know what are we made up of you know what um is 
you know, that makes you think about more, you know, more things are out there that we don't even know about. And it's just, it feels good to actually know that um, I'm not the only one who's going through this. So, um, I wasn't trying to take up you guys with a, you know, I'm just telling you about these stages. I don't know if this is coming towards the end. I know good things keep happening. You know, um, I keep on seeing, seeing a lot of sevens, uh, a lot of nines, and a lot of ones. You know, it's just like buckle your seatbelt for fives. Um, you know, my life is shifting. One, you know, um, is, uh, and I'm seeing a lot of threes. I forgot what the one is about, but I know threes is like the Trinity, the Holy Grail, and stuff like that. Uh, seven, those are really lucky. And nine is uh, end, of, end of stages. It's like everything's going in a full cycle. You know, um, and learning how it's just like when you go through, I know it's when you go through a lot of things when people hurt you and stuff like that. I had to constantly tell myself it is not personal. People have been having issues and stuff before. Half the time before you met them, it's just sometimes you can bring it out of somebody. And it's just with us in the goes, we always try to fix <laughs> everybody. We, you know, even though we have problems, probably have problems fixing ourselves, we try to be able to fix everybody feeling like we'll be able to help everybody and I know it's just a lot of times I have to tell my daughters the same thing you know we get hurt a lot especially if you have a really kind heart it's just some people you know you can leave them to the water but you can't make them drink you know um I, I mean it's just like all these different things that I'm going through and it's just like now um, when I feel like I, I, I'm dealing with somebody that I know that aggravates me or, you know, it puts me in a negative dark space, I have to just bring them up to my frequency. You know, if I even see where the argument is coming, I'm like, look, <laughs> I just say it this morning, you know, I'm not even trying to argue. I just see it for what it is and just let it go, you know, and it just left it at that, you know, and I see you just don't have enough time to spend your time on negative things, you know, because that's um, just stopping from you know, that's hindering you from doing what you, you know, that you need to be doing better. I said, I need to focus my stuff on, you know, um, being a better person to see, you know, how many people I'll be able to help, how many people I'll be able to inspire while I'm trying to inspire myself. Um, and it's just like the more things, you know, you, you tend to think about how you look at things or how you proceed on things or how you react to things, you know, if you if you've been in it you know, been through it long enough and you know, like, okay, I don't want to deal with this. So you actually know how to deal with it when it comes to your, you know, presence again. So it's like always, it's a blessing when you meet somebody. Don't ever think you're wasting your time or, oh, I, you know, I wish I would have never met this person. Trust me, anytime you have met somebody, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. Y'all might not even talk no more, but it, you know, it's just that you know what that person made you feel like at that time, if it's a good thing or it's a bad thing, but always remember any person that comes in your life is, um, is a blessing to you. It's either for, you know, a reason or a season, a lesson or a test, and I don't know, <laughs> but you know, I, I hope you guys have a good weekend. Um, stay blessed and stay peace. Peace, meditate, say affirmations, anything that can make you to a better person than you were yesterday, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.